to sugarcoat anything here. If we don't get Tracy back and do the best show that we've ever done, we're canceled. So we're counting on Tracy? Forget it. Frank, put that bigger hat back on. Look, we've been through bad times before. What? Right it straight to hell. Here come the roofies. Where's my mac and cheese? And we've had some good times. Who wants to see my flames? And I know what you are all capable of. This is your moment. Tonight, TGS will not be the worst thing on television. It'll be John Stossel. Who's with me? Yeah, let's do it. Gas leak, huh? Great. Damn it. Why now? On my last day before retirement. Here, let me show you guys something. It's my girl. We're getting married when I get out of here. Why am I showing you guys this? It's gonna jinx everything. Plus, you're a couple of pervs. We should be all right as long as the leak doesn't get into... Ah, damn it, look at this. It's going right under the sixth floor air duct. Damn it, again. Well, we're gonna have to evacuate six until this thing's taken care of. Who's up there? TGS? Isn't that show already half dead? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to kiss? We say we get some fresh air. Jack, we have a problem. There's a gas leak in the studio. Do you know what I find fascinating? Mystery novels written by janitors. How everyone who comes through my door seems to want to talk about TGS as if it's also the only thing in my life. Now, I may not be the head of GE, but that doesn't mean I'm not a very busy man. I've got other things going on, too, you know. See? I got a new hair. It's white and it hurts. How bad is this leak? It's pretty bad. Prolonged exposure could lead to incapacitation or even death. Other possible side effects include hallucinations, revelation of secrets, telling the truth, flashbacks, headaches, nostalgia. <laughs> you believe this is happening to me on my last day of work? My last day. I don't know if there was a party planned. Evacuate the sixth floor. I don't care if anyone dies. I refuse to have long, gas-induced conversations with any of you people. Boy, you know, over the past five years, we've had a lot of crazy characters and guest stars drop by TGS. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, Pete. I can't believe it's been a hundred shows. More like a hundred little strokes. <laughs> you know, the girly show was working just fine. And then Jack came along and forced me to hire Tracy. And now look at us. Oh, life was so much simpler back then. I had a boyfriend, Dennis. I'm sure he was an idiot, but he made great chili and he didn't care if I watched TV during sex. Yeah, maybe I was better off then. <laughs> Liz, we have to evacuate the floor. There's a gas leak. What? What about the show? Everyone, evacuate immediately. This is not a drill. The gas is not affecting me yet, so I can lead you to safety. Just follow these troll penises. Oh, God, what have I done? Yeah, just maybe one more turn, then I can go home to my sweetheart. I told her boy I'd hit a home run for him tomorrow night. Damn it, I'm getting too old for this sound that comes from this gas pipe. Who are you? You're so handsome. I'm Jack Donaghy, CEO of General Electric. The question is, who are you? I'm Jack Donaghy. You were Jack Donaghy. You were magnificent. I'm still magnificent. No. I come from an alternate universe in which I followed our plan for world domination. I run the General. I own an NFL team. I guest starred on Entourage. What do you do? I'll tell you what I don't do. Wear a striped tie with a striped shirt. It's called power clashing. And I do it because I can. I wore this on the January cover of Meetings Magazine. We made the cover during Meetings History Month? I made the cover. What happened to you, Jack? You were supposed to spend six months in TV as part of your climb up the GE ladder. 
You've been here five years, and here <laughs> isn't even GE anymore. It's Cable Clown. Town, Donaghy, and that's not funny. It was funny when I said it on my syndicated radio show. You bastard. I'm doing fine. You used to be a shark. I still am. Look at my claws. Sharks don't have claws. You don't even know what a shark is anymore. Oh, God. <laughs>